Hello! Today I'll show you how to make parallax hulls in Unity 3D, Universal Render Pipeline, using uh, shader graphs. So the first thing you may want to do is... Uh, let's make a new folder actually. Uh, let's call it shaders T. Shaders T. And go into shader graph URP and do a lit shader graph. Let's call it whole shader. I'm gonna add T at the end for tutorial. Now double click the shader. First thing you may want to add is a texture 2D. Let's call this whole texture. Now let's add another texture 2D. Let's call this whole depth. And then let's add another texture 2D and call it whole opacity. These are the three textures we'll be using. Uh, I draw all my textures in paint.net. It is decent. It's not very good, but it does the job. So let's create our first node. Um, that would be parallax mapping. Parallax occlusion mapping. Don't use parallax mapping unless you want your holes to look very weird. But yeah, let's use this. Let's put the hole depth here. Plug that in here. Perfect. Uh, we can also make float values for amplitude and other all, all of this other stuff, but I'm not going to do that just yet, at least. Now, let's add a new node, sample texture, sample texture 2D. Move this back a little, then let's plug in parallax UVs into UV here. Now, let's take whole texture and plug that in here. And let's plug this into base color, RGBA to base color. Now, we need to make a new node, another sample texture. 2D. Let's also plug it with parallax UV. Let's put whole opacity here. Plug that in there. Okay. Now, uh, let's, let's make our maps. The whole texture, whole depth, and whole opacity. Let's open paint.net. Well, actually, I already have a new file, so it doesn't matter. Let's resize this canvas to... Let's say, for simplicity's sake, we'll go 16 by 16. Now, me personally, I don't like using the alpha node. I don't remember specifically why, but for opacity, I use RGBA. Now, let's draw our whole texture. So first, I'm just going to add noise by going into effects and add noise. Then let's put the intensity up. Uh, yeah, this, this works. Color saturation to minimum. Let's add a little bit more intensity. Okay, this is good. Coverage, randomize. Let's find a good one. This is good. I like this. Okay. Now let's add a little bit of a shading. Let's add it in the middle. Let's put hardness to roughly 16%. Doesn't matter that much. I'm gonna click twice. And the hole will look roughly like this. That's perfect. Now, let's open the new layer. If you don't have this, you can click here to open the new layer. layer or just click F7 on your keyboard. Now, let's draw the depth map. What I like to do is put the pencil to hard maximum. Let's do five. Everything that is supposed to be very deep should be black. What I like to do is have a very, very sharp edge uh, for the depth. So I'm just gonna color this entire layer white first and go to black, change brush size to five. And let's do this. And also decrease opacity so that we can see the past light. This will do fine. Yeah, this looks perfect. Now, this is the uh, depth map, but it can also be used as the opacity map. So this map is the depth map. 
this is where the deepness is gonna be for the hole. Now let's add a new one, a new map. This is gonna be the opacity map. And I, I could use the depth map as the opacity map. However, I want the hole to extend just before the hole actually goes inside of the object. So what we do is do the same thing. We go to white color, or actually we can just duplicate this layer. It doesn't matter. Dupe this layer and then increase the size of the hole just a little bit. Like this. Yeah, that works. Now, I'm just going to delete these two. Export this as hole opacity. Let's replace whatever I have. Control Z, Control Z. X, X. Save as hole depth. Perfect. And uh, now let's do the same for the whole texture. Whole texture. Okay. Um, let's undo that just in case we need to go back here. Okay, I've saved all the whole textures. I named them whole texture one, whole te opacity one, and whole depth one. Let's add them to here, like this. Now we have them. What we do is go into scene, right click, no, left click at the top, uh, 3D object, and let's select a plane. Let's pull it right here. Uh, resize it a little bit, make it a little smaller. Let's place it here, actually. Like that. Perfect. Okay. Now, you can right click on the shader and create a new material. Uh, let's call it Hole 2. Now, if you can't right click and create a material for the shader some, for some reason, you can also create a new material and manually change the shader at the top here and just type in hole and you, you can see your own shaders there but we can't do that so we're just gonna delete this now that we've got everything let's apply this texture to this plane and it appears there are no settings which is because for your changes in the shader graph to apply, you actually need to click this tiny little save button at the top left. It will save, and now we have whole texture, whole depth, and whole opacity. Now let's add whole depth, let's add whole opacity, and let's add whole texture. That already looks kinda nice, sick. Except it's very blurry, why is that? That's because I'm doing this with pixel art and all I need to fix it is go to point no filter. Also, for some holes, the texture will repeat if they're smaller than this, especially. You can also see the texture repeat here as well, kind of in this, like there's a little artifact there. To fix that, all you do select all your textures and there's this wrap mode setting set that to clamp and that will no longer happen now let's add color to the texture we can do this by going into the whole shader t and add color we're gonna call this whole color and since i made my texture black and white it can be easily multiplied with the multiply node simply with the whole color. Let's save the texture. Let's let's save the shader. Set the color to something like that matches the texture around it closer.
Maybe like this. I'm colorblind, so I can't tell if that fits. But it looks like it does for me. So, now there's sharp edges for the hole. We need to get rid of those. How we can do that is go into hole shader. And this is where hole opacity comes in. In my case, I don't use the alpha node. I don't like using it. And instead I use RGBA. This is because for some holes, you can also use the hole depth as the opacity. And since I wanted to keep that feature, I use RGBA instead of alpha. Let's add a node called one minus. We're gonna plug RGBA into there. And as you can see, there's no alpha setting here to plug that in. How, how we fix that is go into top right graph settings and there's a surface type setting. Change that to transparent and now you get the alpha. Plug that into alpha, save, and let's see how that looks. Already much better. Except it's a little, like you can still see the edges to some extent. How you would fix those edges is by simply going into the hole shader and changing the smoothness value to zero. And probably also ambient occlusion to zero as well. Let's save the shader. And it should no longer have any of those weird rough edges. Now it's just a hole. It's just a hole in the wall. You can look at it from any angle. Uh, we can also add a float called amplitude. Let's plug that into here. And let's add another one called the steps. This is basically the quality. And let's add a integer. We're not gonna add a steps value because you can only add floats here and the steps value is an integer and you know floats aren't usually very precise numbers so it creates an issue if you plug in a float like let's say this one let's add that it makes the texture look like this even if you change the amplitude to let's say five it adds very weird very strange artifacts. So let's just remove that. Do not use floats for this. That is a bad idea. Since our hole looks kind of strange, we're going to add a tiling and offset node. This one's a very good node. We're going to plug in parallax UV into here and then plug this into that. Uh, we're adding this for the hole opacity because as you can see, it looks very strange from the sides. So all we do is 0 0.8, let's do this, let's do 0 0.1 and 0 0.1. Yep, perfect. That is much better. No more weirdness, no more nothing. One last thing I forgot to mention is that if you want to use decals, you can. You just have to go into the shader and go into graph settings and instead of lit material select decal then save the shader and then you can apply the material to a decal projector like this for some reason we're still getting the rough edges even after we remove them since we switched to decals so the only way to fix this is to set normal alpha to zero. Let's do that, and we no longer have those weird, weird edges. And that's it. That's how you make a hole in Unity URP 3D. It's very simple, very cool. Thank you guys for watching this, and I'll maybe make a new tutorial on how to do other stuff. But yeah.